Hey, welcome back, guys. This is TK. In this video, we are going to uh, continue on our uh, from our previous video, uh, setting up uh, Cisco Context Directory agent uh, with Active Directory. And um, now, what we are going to do is we are going to take a look at this. Uh, this thing is uh, in in operation. Uh, how really uh, everything works. Um, so basically, what will happen is that um, like I have a um, Windows client over here and I'm going to um, first of all let me show you uh, on the active directory uh, on the domain controller side what we need to look at is um, the event viewer so we we'll go to event viewer and then let's go to um, Windows logs and security logs and right now that's uh, no logs over here so I'm going to do uh, is that I'm going to log in to this uh, client workstation with a domain account so when I log into this uh, workstation what you uh, what you uh, notice is that there's an event log created for uh, for this particular uh, authentication and uh, in that event log you got the account name and also the IP address here so what what will happen is that uh, you see on the background I'm running uh, Wireshark that uh, so it's 10.254.250.43 is uh, is the uh, CDA context uh, directory agent and dot uh, 20 is the domain controller so the CDA is actually making a um, DCERPC request and you know every second then the domain control respond back with the DCERPC response um, that's that's how the domain uh, domain controller uh, sends the event logs to uh, to CDA so if you check the CDA over here if you go to mappings and IP to identity you see this uh, mapping happens for this particular authentication so this is actually from uh, let's see to get into my domain controller it's from this this one so what will happen is now that uh, when you configure the consumer devices here uh, it could be WSAs or it could be ASAs for identity based firewalls uh, configurations um, so when a user comes in with an IP address uh, for the for those consumer devices uh, WSAs or ASAs um, they'll ask from CDA you know what's what is the uh, corresponding username and the CDA will respond back with the username and uh, that information again taken back from uh, from the event log of uh, of the Active Directory domain controller that uh, that user was logged into. So this is what I want to show you the uh, the operational uh, part of the uh, um, of the CDA. Please go back and uh, check the uh, the first part of this video series. Um, how to install CDA how to configure CDA I should say uh, with the Active Directory installing CDA is pretty straightforward uh, you can download the ISO file and then uh, you know uh, run it on a, on a virtual machine um, also you need to install uh, four patches um, and uh, and then uh, it's pretty straightforward if uh, I, I, sh I should be able to create another video for that uh, but um, uh, for the most uh, important part is how to use this uh, in our uh, next videos we'll take a look at uh, uh, how to configure the consumer devices and uh, do identity based uh, uh, policy enforcement thank you